Stories and Documentary Network. In the cradle of Western civilization lies a land that resonates with an extraordinary legacy. A land that birthed a civilization which continues to echo through the corridors of time. Welcome to ancient Greece, a place of unparalleled intellectual, cultural, and philosophical richness. The significance of ancient Greece transcends mere historical footnotes. It's a profound reflection of humanity's pursuit of knowledge, beauty, and the eternal quest for understanding the world around us. Join us on an unparalleled journey as we unveil the layers of this extraordinary civilization, exploring its monumental achievements, its diverse society, and the enduring impact it has left on the world. Our documentary, Elysium Unveiled, a journey through ancient Greece, will lead us through nine enthralling chapters. From the birth of a civilization in the cradle of the Mediterranean to its intellectual brilliance, artistic exquisiteness, and the profound legacy it has imprinted on our world. We will navigate through the narratives of legendary myths and the heroes who shaped them, delve into the architectural wonders that still captivate our imaginations, and uncover the societal dynamics that defined life in these city-states. Join us as we unravel the untold stories of triumphs, conflicts, and the enduring spirit that emanated from this ancient land. The landscape of ancient Greece, encompassing the Aegean and Ionian seas, molded the civilization that emerged here. A land of contrasts, Greece's varied geography and temperate climate played a pivotal role in shaping the destiny of its people. The mountains created natural barriers, isolating regions, and fostering independent city-states, each with its own character and identity. The Mediterranean climate allowed for abundant harvests, fostering a society reliant on agriculture and trade. Access to the sea facilitated maritime connections, paving the way for cultural exchanges and advancements that would define ancient Greece. In the Bronze Age, the Minoans, flourishing on the island of Crete, established a maritime empire marked by its advanced art, innovative architecture, and intricate palace complexes. Their mysterious downfall around 1450 BC paved the way for the rise of the Mycenaeans, known for their fortified citadels, like Mycenae and Tyrans. The Mycenaeans, skilled in metallurgy and trade, left a remarkable legacy, though their civilization also faced a decline, leading to the subsequent Greek Dark Ages. Following the fall of Mycenaean civilization, Greece endured a turbulent era marked by the collapse of centralized authority. This period, known as the Dark Ages, saw a decline in cultural and economic activity, yet within this darkness, a new light emerged. During the so-called Greek Dark Ages, before the Archaic period, people lived scattered throughout Greece in small farming villages. As they grew larger, these villages began to evolve. Some built walls, most built a marketplace, an agora, and a community meeting place. They developed governments and organized their citizens according to some sort of constitution or set of laws. They raised armies and collected taxes. And every one of these city-states, known as poles, was said to be protected by a particular god or goddess, to whom the citizens of the polis owed a great deal of reverence, respect and sacrifice. Athens' deity was Athena, for example, so was Sparta's. However, by the dawn of the Archaic period in the 7th century BC, the city-states had developed a number of common characteristics. They all had economies that were based on agriculture, not trade. For this reason, land was every city-state's most valuable resource. Also, most had overthrown their hereditary kings, or basilis, and were ruled by a small number of wealthy aristocrats. These people monopolized political power. For example, they refused to let ordinary people serve on councils or assemblies. They also monopolized the best farmland, and some even claimed to be descended from the Greek gods. Because, the poor with their wives and children were enslaved to the rich and had no political rights, Aristotle said, there was conflict between the nobles and the people for a long time. Among the city-states, two prominent entities, Athens and Sparta, stood as stark contrasts in governance, societal structure, and cultural ethos. Athens, the birthplace of democracy, was an epicenter of art, philosophy, and intellectual progress. Meanwhile, Sparta, known for its rigorous military training and discipline, embodied a society dedicated to war and state supremacy. These powerful city-states, Athens and Sparta, played pivotal roles in shaping the rich tapestry of ancient Greece, 
each leaving an indelible mark on history through their distinct values and contributions. Ancient Greece gave birth to a remarkable era of philosophical inquiry, birthing a new way of thinking that revolutionized the world. The quest for understanding the natural world, human existence, and the principles governing life led to the rise of Greek philosophy, marking a pivotal shift towards rational thought. Thales, Pythagoras, Heraclitus, and numerous other thinkers laid the groundwork for rational exploration, their ideas becoming the foundation of Western philosophy. Thales, often considered the first philosopher, sought to understand the natural world through natural explanations, free from mythical and religious interpretations. His ideas laid the groundwork for scientific thought. Pythagoras, with his mathematical brilliance and philosophical teachings, introduced the concept that the universe could be understood through mathematical principles, influencing numerous disciplines beyond his era. Heraclitus, known for his doctrine that change is the only constant, proposed a dynamic view of the universe, challenging traditional beliefs and encouraging critical thinking. Socrates, a towering figure in philosophy, didn't leave behind written works, but his method of questioning and critical thinking reshaped the approach to philosophical discourse. His Socratic method of questioning not only inspired critical thinking but also challenged societal norms, exploring moral virtues and the essence of human existence. The teachings of Plato, conveyed through his dialogues, explored metaphysics, ethics, and the ideal forms of justice and governance. Aristotle, a polymath, delved into a broad spectrum of disciplines, contributing to logic, biology, physics, ethics, politics, and much more. His systematic approach set the stage for centuries of intellectual advancement. Their profound and enduring insights not only shaped their era but continue to influence and inspire philosophical exploration, scientific inquiry, and societal understanding in the present day. In the cradle of Olympia, amid the sacred lands of ancient Greece, the Olympic Games found their genesis. Originating in 776 BC, these games were a testament to physical prowess, cultural celebration, and the spirit of competitive excellence. The ancient Olympics, dedicated to Zeus, brought together athletes from various city-states to compete in honor of their gods and demonstrate the peak of human physical achievement. The Olympic Games weren't solely about athleticism, they were a convergence of art, culture, and sporting prowess. Events like sprinting, wrestling, chariot races, and discus throw not only showcased physical strength but were integral to Greek identity and unity. The games transcended mere sport, offering a platform for poets, philosophers, and artists to celebrate the human form, intellect, and creativity. They served as a stage for the exchange of ideas, cultural exhibitions, and the forging of connections between the diverse Greek city-states. Olympia, nestled in the Peloponnese, was not only the birthplace of the games but also a sacred sanctuary. Its temples, altars, and statues served as a tribute to Zeus, the chief deity of the ancient Greek pantheon. The immense statue of Zeus, sculpted by Phidias, stood as a symbol of divine power and artistic magnificence, drawing pilgrims and athletes from across the Mediterranean to pay homage to the gods and compete in these revered games. While the ancient Olympics were primarily a male domain, women had their own athletic competitions in the Heraean Games, honoring the goddess Hera. Events like foot races allowed women to display their physical abilities within the societal constraints of the era. Though women faced restrictions in public life, the Heraean Games provided a platform for them to showcase their athleticism and celebrate their strength and dedication, albeit within the confines of societal norms. The Greek pantheon, a complex assembly of gods and goddesses, represented various facets of human existence, natural forces, and the cosmos. From Zeus, the king of the gods, to Artemis, the goddess of the hunt, each deity held dominion over distinct realms of life. These divine entities were not only embodiments of natural forces but also reflections of human virtues, flaws, and emotions. Their stories, woven into the fabric of Greek mythology, offered explanations for the mysteries of the world and the complexities of the human condition. The rich tapestry of Greek mythology begins with chaos, the void from which the universe emerged. From chaos came Gaia, the Earth, who birthed the Titans, primordial beings of immense power. The Titans, led by Cronus, clashed with the Olympian gods in the Titanomachy, 
a cataclysmic battle that determined the rulers of the cosmos and set the stage for the reign of the Twelve Olympians. Mount Olympus, the mythical abode of the gods, was home to the Twelve Olympians, the principal deities of Greek mythology. Zeus, the mighty thunderer, ruled from the summit, presiding over the gods and mortals. Hera, his queen, symbolized marriage and family. Each deity, from Athena, the goddess of wisdom, to Dionysus, the god of wine and revelry, held influence over different aspects of human life. Greek mythology abounds with tales of heroic figures, whose extraordinary deeds and struggles embody the virtues and flaws of humanity. Hercules, with his incredible strength, undertook arduous labors, displaying courage, resilience, and ingenuity. Achilles, the invincible warrior of the Trojan War, grappled with mortality and the complexities of honor and glory. Odysseus, the wily and resourceful hero, embarked on an epic journey home, enduring trials that tested his character and resolve. These heroic myths serve as a testament to the human experience, exploring valor, sacrifice, and the intricacies of the human spirit. The Golden Age of Athens, under the statesmanship of Pericles, was a pinnacle of cultural and artistic brilliance. It was a period of unrivaled achievements in art, architecture, and intellect. The crowning jewel of this era was the Parthenon, a temple dedicated to the goddess Athena, a symbol of power and beauty that transcended time and inspired generations with its architectural splendor. Greek pottery, with its intricate designs and storytelling, served as both functional vessels and canvases for artistic expression. It was a medium that showcased scenes from daily life, mythology, and historical events. Greek sculptors, with their keen observation of human anatomy and skillful craftsmanship, created sculptures that celebrated the human form. These works, capturing idealized beauty and emotion, continue to be revered as masterpieces of artistic expression. Theaters in ancient Greece were more than just venues for entertainment, they were stages for the birth of drama and storytelling. The Dionysian festivals celebrated plays and tragedies that explored the human condition. These playwrights, through their plays, delved into the complexities of human existence, morality, and societal issues. Their enduring impact laid the foundation for dramatic arts that resonate through the ages. The legacy of Greek architecture reverberates through time, influencing modern constructions and architectural marvels around the world. The architectural elements such as columns, entablatures, and proportional harmony continue to inspire contemporary architects, echoing the elegance and timelessness of Greek design. From government buildings to cultural centers, the essence of Greek architecture endures, a testament to its enduring legacy and the everlasting beauty of its design. The Greco-Persian Wars, a series of conflicts that unfolded between the 5th and 4th centuries BC, were rooted in the growing tension between the expanding Achaemenid Persian Empire and the Greek city-states. The Persians, under King Darius I and later his successor Xerxes I, sought to expand their dominion westward, leading to clashes with the Greeks and their desire to maintain independence and sovereignty. The Battle of Marathon in 490 BC, where the outnumbered Athenians achieved a remarkable victory over the Persian forces, thwarting their attempt to conquer Greece. At Thermopylae, in 480 BC, the Spartan king Leonidas and his small force made a valiant but ultimately doomed stand against the overwhelming Persian army, buying crucial time for the Greeks to prepare their defense. The Battle of Salamis in 480 BC, a naval clash between the Greek city-states and the Persian fleet, resulted in a crucial victory for the Greeks, altering the course of the war and preserving Greek independence. Themistocles, an Athenian statesman and general, played a significant role in urging the construction of a formidable navy, foreseeing the importance of naval power in the war against the Persians. King Leonidas, with his determination and sacrifice at Thermopylae, demonstrated the valor and resilience of the Spartan warriors, becoming an enduring symbol of bravery and patriotism in Greek history. The Greco-Persian Wars left an indelible mark on history, not only in preserving Greek independence but also in shaping the future of Western civilization. The victories in these battles bolstered the Greeks' sense of identity and unity, becoming a symbol of resistance against overwhelming odds. They also left a profound legacy in shaping political systems, cultural identities, and the evolution of Western thought. In the aftermath of the Persian Wars, Athens emerged as a dominant power, both politically and economically, under the statesmanship of Pericles. 
The Delian League, originally formed as a defensive alliance against Persian incursions, transformed into an Athenian hegemony, establishing Athens as a de facto leader. The rise of Athenian power led to growing apprehension among other city-states, particularly Sparta, which felt threatened by the expanding influence of Athens. Sparta formed the Peloponnesian League, countering the Delian League's dominance. The Peloponnesian War, spanning from 431 BC to 404 BC, was a protracted conflict characterized by military confrontations, naval clashes, and sieges. The Athenian Plague, the Sicilian Expedition, and the dramatic power shifts between the two alliances marked critical moments in the war. The Peloponnesian War, with its decades-long duration and severe casualties, revealed the devastating impact of prolonged conflict on both sides. It exposed the limitations and perils of unchecked ambition and the dangers of imperial overreach. The war left a legacy of strife, instability, and a weakened Greece vulnerable to external threats. It also underscored the cyclical nature of conflict, offering poignant lessons about the perils of unchecked power and the consequences of prolonged hostilities. Alexander the Great, the Macedonian king, embarked on an unparalleled military campaign that reshaped the ancient world. His conquests, spanning from Greece to Egypt and reaching as far as India, established one of the most expansive empires in history. The Hellenistic period that followed Alexander's conquests was characterized by a blending of Greek, Egyptian, Persian, and Indian cultures. This fusion led to innovations in art, science, and philosophy, creating a rich tapestry of cultural exchange and advancement. Greek civilization's impact transcended its borders, profoundly influencing the burgeoning Roman Empire. The Romans, inspired by Greek culture, adopted its art, philosophy, and governmental principles, laying the foundation for what would become Western civilization. Following the decline of the Hellenistic world and the Roman Empire, the preservation of Greek culture endured through the works of scholars, particularly during the Byzantine Empire. The writings of ancient Greek philosophers, the epics of Homer, and the scientific treatises were safeguarded and later contributed to the Renaissance period, sparking a renewed interest in classical knowledge. The resurgence of interest in ancient Greek culture during the Renaissance era played a pivotal role in shaping modern thought, science, art, and governance. Its legacy continues to resonate, influencing various aspects of our contemporary world, from democratic ideals to scientific inquiry and artistic expressions. Throughout this documentary, we've embarked on a journey through the remarkable civilization of ancient Greece, exploring its multifaceted contributions to human history and the enduring impact it has had on our world. Here, we recap the main points and reflect on the lasting legacy of this extraordinary era. From its humble origins shaped by geographic diversity, ancient Greece burgeoned into a civilization of unparalleled significance. We witnessed the birth of rational thought through the philosophical inquiries of Thales, Pythagoras, Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle. Their teachings continue to inspire critical thinking and shape modern philosophical, scientific, and ethical perspectives. The Greek gods and myths, with their intricate pantheon and tales of heroic figures like Hercules, Achilles, and Odysseus, remain embedded in the fabric of our cultural consciousness, echoing the timeless exploration of the human condition. We explored the artistic splendor of ancient Greece, from the majestic Parthenon to the sculptures and pottery that conveyed both daily life and grandeur. The legacy of their architectural principles is evident in modern structures, reflecting the endurance of Greek design and aesthetic appeal. The documentary delved into the societal intricacies, from the rigid social structures to the roles of women, revealing the contrast between the vibrancy of Athens and the militaristic society of Sparta. We also examined the significance of the Olympic Games, both as an athletic spectacle and a cultural celebration that endures to this day. The Greco-Persian Wars and the Peloponnesian War highlighted the complexities of conflicts, shedding light on the perils of unchecked ambition and the lessons learned from prolonged hostilities. Nevertheless, they also showcased the resilience and valor of the human spirit against formidable challenges. The legacy of ancient Greece reverberates through time, its influence extends to the Hellenistic period and the conquests of Alexander the Great, embracing a diverse cultural fusion that shaped the future. The enduring impact on Rome and the modern world underscores the monumental contributions of ancient Greece to Western civilization. As we conclude, 
we're reminded of the Greek spirit that lives on in contemporary Greece. The closing scene features the vibrant landscapes and cultural vitality of modern Greece, symbolizing the enduring essence of Greek heritage. From the ancient ruins to the bustling streets, the Greek spirit persists, a living testament to the legacy of a civilization that continues to inspire and captivate the world. Ancient Greece, with its intellectual brilliance, artistic grandeur, philosophical depth, and democratic ideals, remains a beacon of inspiration, a testament to the enduring legacy of human ingenuity and the timeless pursuit of knowledge, beauty, and the human experience. As we conclude our journey through the wonders of ancient Greece, we invite you to continue exploring and learning with us. Remember to subscribe to our channel or platform for more fascinating documentaries and educational content. By subscribing, you'll stay updated on our latest releases and never miss an opportunity to dive into new realms of knowledge. Sharing is caring. If you've enjoyed this documentary, we encourage you to share it with friends, family, and fellow history enthusiasts. Spread the knowledge, spark conversations, and inspire others to embark on their own exploration of the past. And of course, if you found this journey through ancient Greece enlightening and captivating, show your appreciation by hitting that like button. Your feedback and support are greatly valued and motivate us to keep bringing you engaging and insightful content. Thank you for joining us on this odyssey through the rich tapestry of ancient Greece. Together, let's continue to uncover the captivating narratives of our collective human history. Subscribe, share, like, and let's keep the quest for knowledge alive. Until we embark on our next adventure, thank you for being part of our explorative journey. Stay curious, keep learning, and let history continue to inspire us all. Goodbye for now and see you on our next expedition through the marvels of history.